Do you want to grow your Instagram followers fast? Maybe you have tried to grow organically on Instagram, but it is a challenging task to keep up, especially if you have a full-time job while trying to grow a side hustle. If you feel like this is you, this is the perfect video for you. I'm going to be showing you today how to grow your Instagram following by running Instagram ads. This is going to give you a quick return in your followers. And this is a full blown Instagram tutorial where I'm going to be sharing with you some vital things to have in place before you run ads, how easy it is to make creatives for your ads, where to run your ads for higher conversions and what audience you will be targeting. So make sure to watch this video all the way to the end because I'll be sharing two bonus tips that will help you get traction, especially in the beginning, to be on your way to gain Instagram followers that are your ideal customers so you can remarket to them over and over and over again. Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel and you wanna learn how to turn your passions into profits, please subscribe today and hit that notification bell to be the first one notified of any new videos that I upload to the channel. Now, if you plan to subscribe today, don't forget to leave a comment below saying that you have subscribed and I will make sure to respond and answer. Now, are you ready to, for this value packed video? So let's go ahead and get started. Now, it doesn't matter if you are a content creator, a coach, a small business owner, or a product-based business owner, the strategies that I'll be teaching you today will help you get followers on autopilot by running Instagram ads. And you could start as low as $5 a day if you wanted to. So suppose you don't have at the moment, right, a budget to put into ads. In that case, I recommend watching my most recent video where I give you a complete strategy on how to gain 10,000 followers on Instagram organically. I will leave the link right above this video. Now let's go ahead and talk about the things that you should have complete before you run any Instagram ads to gain followers. Now the first thing you want to make sure that you have completed is that you have a killer bio that makes a good impression and convinces visitors to click the follow button. So that's the first thing you want to make sure. And the bio should include the three W's, which are who you are, what you do, and why they should follow you. Make sure that your account is also a business profile account so you can have access to analytics and so you'll be able to run ads as well. Now, the next thing you need to have is either your business logo or if you are the face of a brand, a picture of yourself in your profile picture. Now, make sure to also include a link in your profile where you want prospective buyers to click to find your products and services. So this could be a link to your Etsy shop, your Shopify store, your lead magnet, your webinar, your website, etc. And you wanna make sure that you have your account set up in a way that when they find you the first time, they can click and check out your products and services, potentially follow you, and then potentially even become a customer. Now, once you have all of these things in place, you wanna make sure that the last nine posts that you have created on your profile provides value. This is really important and it provides value to your ideal customer. If the content you're posting on Instagram doesn't offer any value and it's all about selling, selling, selling or posting random things, it's going to be really tough to get those people interested in giving you an actual follow. So you want to make sure that you have all of these things set in place before growing your account organically or even paid. So if you're not providing value in your content, or maybe you just struggle to provide value, make sure that you watch my latest video on this topic. I do share seven ways to provide value within your content, and I will link it right above. Now that you have an understanding of how to set up your Instagram profile for success, I will show you how easy it is to make creatives for the ads using my favorite graphic design tool, Canva. So let's head over to my computer and let's get this tutorial started. All right, so here we are on canva.com. Keep in mind that you could use the free version of Canva. I also have a referral link where you could try Canva Pro so you could try all of their features for 30 days for free. So if you're interested, I will leave the link right below this video. So we're using Canva today to create your creative, which is the ad, the ad that you'll be showing to people so they could stop scrolling in the feed and take notice of you. 
So we're going to go ahead and create an ad, and we're going to size it at 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. The reason why we're picking this size, this is the size for the Instagram um, feed. And you want to make sure that you're optimizing your images the correct way so they don't get cut off. And we're going to be doing images for Instagram feed and the Instagram story. That's where we're going to be running ads to. So we want to make sure that this is optimized correctly. And I'm going to show you a cool trick on why we're starting with this size first. So when you come here, you could create your own template from scratch, or you could use any of the pre-made templates. So you could just browse through here. You could put brown and search um, for the color brown and see if any of these are close to your aesthetic. Now, keep in mind, you could, like I said, create one in Canva. You could use also your own personal graphic design tool if you have one as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select, I'm going to do a search for orange, and this gives you all the different ones that they have here. And I'm just trying to give you an example of different templates that you could use. Now, you want to use something that when people are scrolling in the feed or they're scrolling in the Instagram story, it takes, you know, they, they notice it. So you want something bright, colorful. You don't want something boring, something that's going to just blend in. You want something that is going to stand out in the feed, something like this or something like this, right? So that's one way to look for it by colors. You could just type in also Facebook ads if you want, and it'll give you all of these different options that you have here. Um, you could do Instagram ads if you want to as well. And keep in mind, everything here you could edit. You could customize any way that you want. You could change the colors. You could add your own photos, your logo, um, etc. So you could kind of just keep browsing and see if any of these speak to you, right? And I'm going to use this one here, actually. This one speaks to me. It's kind of the colors of XC, and I'm an XC coach, so this kind of works out. So I'm going to go ahead and customize this. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove speaker. I'm going to remove the call to action. And I'm going to put up here, learn all about XE and scale your business. So sweet, short and sweet. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to slide right here. And I'm going to try to put it in the middle. Maybe I can, uh, I think it looks good right there. So let's see, can I put this down? Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. So. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to change this to my name for branding purposes, right? So maybe somebody might read my name and be like, oh, that's Nancy. And then I'm going to add my photo. So bear with me here while I search for a photo that I could use that I look somewhat good. <laughs> good on. Now, keep in mind, um, when you create these, um, you want to make sure that you keep it very simple. Don't try to add too many um, text to it. That way people don't get confused. You know, you want to keep it simple. Just add your tagline of what you're known for. Um, some people have niche statements, so you could kind of grab it from there if you want. And just have a photo of you, maybe a logo of your your Etsy store or your Shopify store of, or of your brand in general. So I'm going to use this picture here because it's kind of like a nicer picture that I have. And I'm going to push it down a little bit. And I'm pretty happy with this. So if this is shown, if I create an ad right now, and this was the ad that I use for my Instagram, it's going to be shown really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and download this particular ad. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. You could download it as a PNG, and that's fine. So you're going to download that file and have it ready in your file. Now the next step, this is only if you have the Canva Pro, that it will let you go ahead and resize this. If you don't, then there's other alternative ways to do this. But if you have Canva Pro, you will click right here where it says resize. If you want to try the Canva Pro, like I said earlier, just sign up with my free link. I left it right below this video. But if you resize this and you type in here, um, I have the, the numbers here written, is 1080 in width and 1920 in height. This is for the Instagram story. You want to make sure that when you're creating ads, whether you're creating them from Instagram, Instagram story, Facebook, um, wherever you're promoting that ad is optimized for that particular platform. If not, it's going to be blurry. It's going to get cut off. It's going to get truncated. No one's going to click on it. So make sure that you're sizing it the right way. 
Now, when you choose this size, it's gonna resize this image as an Instagram story automatically for me. And that's why I like using this because it's automatically already sized for me. I don't have to pretty much do anything else to it. So this is already good to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And I'm gonna do a PNG and download. So now what we're gonna do, now that we have the creatives, we're gonna head over to Facebook to create our actual Facebook ad, or it's gonna be an Instagram ad, but you have to do it on Facebook. So if you have found value so far within this video and you are enjoying the content, don't forget to give me a like and let me know in the comments that you are enjoying this, this content, even if you have to comment several times because it does help me grow my YouTube channel because of the engagement. So please do me the favor to give it a like and leave a comment below. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about Facebook and how to get started there. Now that you have a winning profile and your creatives, the next step is to start the process of running your Instagram ads. Now you will need to set up an account with Facebook Business Manager if you already don't have one at the current moment. And you also wanna make sure that your Facebook business page is synced or connected to your Instagram account in order to be able to run ads. I will leave the link right below this video to give you more instructions on setting this up. It's very easy to do so. So for now, make sure you take notes and watch this video to the end so you don't miss out on the bonus tips. Now, let's go ahead and head over to my computer and I'm gonna show you how to set up your Facebook ads. All right, so here we are from the back end from my business manager. I have blurted out some of the information because you know anyone could copy your ID number just for security. That's the reason why it looks a little bit blurry. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create an ad. So we're gonna click on create. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and select I'm gonna leave this as auction, and I'm gonna go ahead and select traffic because we're trying to drive as much traffic to this particular ad. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, um, this is your, we're in the new campaign level. You could change this, and you could just name it as um, Instagram followers if you want. And we're gonna go ahead and leave everything else the same. We're not gonna to touch anything else. We're gonna to go to next. And now what we're gonna do is, this is the ad set. This is where you pick what type of conversion you're doing. We're doing, um, you could keep it as website, so that's fine. Um, this is where you put your budget. This is where you put your audience. This is really important. And then on the bottom is where you put your placements, which we're gonna be talking about. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just keep it, keep it the same, IG followers. I like to name my campaign so later on when I'm looking at it, I know what I'm looking at. And you could start as low as, you know, you could even do a dollar, um, but I recommend at least $5. This is an estimated of what to expect. Once you fill all of this out, it'll give you more information. But I would say at least $5 to start with. And once you put the budget here, you could have an end date and start date. I usually have it like this set up. I start it. I'm really good at managing my accounts. But if you feel like you might forget and you're not good, make sure that you set an end date right here where you want this campaign to stop because Facebook will continue running this campaign every single day. So if you feel like you might forget, make sure you set an end date. If you feel like you could budget $5 a day, to grow your Instagram following and you don't mind it, then just leave it open. It's really up to you. Now, this is really important. Down here, we're gonna go ahead and select our audience and we're gonna create a new audience. We're gonna do a custom audience. We're gonna click right here and you're gonna do a custom audience of your Instagram followers. The reason why is because we're trying to target people that have engaged and you could just browse in this little eye right here and it'll give you more information. But we're trying to browse accounts that visited your profile, maybe saw your ads, maybe saw your posts, interacted with you. So this is what we're trying to target. And we're gonna go next. And it's gonna ask you for which account. This is my account, so that's perfect. I have multiple accounts, um, so that's probably why you see the little arrow here. And it's gonna ask you right here, everyone who engaged with your professional account 
anyone who visited your professional account, people who engage with any post or ad, I usually just run with this one. I want every type of action. So this include people who visited your profile, took action on your post, an ad such as like, comment, save, carousel, swipes, button taps or share. So this is what you want. So even if they didn't follow you, this is the one that you want because now this ad is gonna be served to them. So this is what you wanna pick. You're gonna pick the retention. If you started this account strictly for your business, it's always been for your business, I would do all 365. So anyone that has engaged with you the last year. If you started this account and maybe the last 30 days you have taken it serious is when you have engaged with the right audience. Before that, you know, you weren't really doing anything to it. You were engaging with anyone and everyone. Then I will set this for 90 days, like the last 90 days. But I usually do the whole year. For most most people, it's for the whole year. And then down here, you can name your audience because you could save this audience to reuse it for a different ad, for a different remarketing campaign that you might be running. So um, I'll just put, I usually put the date. So I'll say May 2021, and then I'll put um, IG traffic. Put something that will, you will remember that you know this is for in your Instagram. And go ahead and create audience. So this is going to auto-populate. Facebook is really smart. They have an artificial intelligence that is going to go ahead and uh, populate all the people. It's going to collect the data from all the people that have ever engaged with your account, and it's going to start showing this ad to them. Because we're targeting anyone that has engaged with your account through Facebook, this is not important here. You don't have to select the age, the gender. You don't have to select any detail targeting because this is your detail targeting. We're targeting these people. Even here, I usually just close it off. I don't put anything there. Why? Because I'm using this audience here. Now, if you weren't using a custom audience, that's when you need to set this up to your ideal customer. Right now, we're using this. So you don't have to fill nothing out. Go all the way to the bottom. And here, this is another important factor. We want to choose manual placements and we want to only show our ads to Instagram. And we're going to go here and we're going to select Instagram. We're going to remove the Explorer and we're going to be Instagram stories and Instagram feed. This is where we want to be shown. So this is the Instagram story. As you can see, it's a long image. And then the feed is a, a square that we talked about earlier. This is the two that we want to pick. Once you pick these two, go ahead and go next. And now what you're going to do is go ahead and name the file, the, the ad name. I'm going to keep it the same, Instagram followers. Choose your Instagram account. It's going to be the same. And then from here, I'm going to add my creatives, which is the ones that we created on Canva. Now you would just click on add image. You could just upload your image. As you can see, I could use, I use this a lot. And I'm gonna upload the long one, the one that we did that is for your Instagram stories. And once it loads to your computer, to the actual Facebook, go ahead and click next. And it's gonna show you, this is the image for story. And then I'm gonna click on square. And you see how it's optimized perfectly? It didn't get cut off. I used one image. I really didn't have to download the other one that I showed you, the square one from Canva. I just did it so you guys could have a copy of it for later if you want to use it. But as long as you pick here square, it, it's already optimized. That's why we started in Canva with the 2000, 2000 pixel. That way it's already optimized for the feed. And now it's optimized for the actual stories. You see how it's not getting cut off and everything is perfect. So once you're happy here, it looks good, you press done. Now, it's really important that you add something engaging. Um, what I would do is I would just keep it simple and short. You could do the primary text and you could say something like, um, what I normally do is I put the same thing, learn all about XE and scale your business. Um, please um, give us a follow. You could do something that simple. And then make sure, this is really important, that once you add the primary text right here, make sure that you add your Instagram URL right here. So you will go to Instagram. So let's go to my Instagram account right now. 
and you're going to grab the URL of your Instagram account because we're trying to make them click, check out your profile, and then follow you. So that's the reason why we're going to do that. So you're going to grab this URL, copy it exactly how you see it here, and you're going to paste it right here. Oops, it, it came up here because I never clicked on the bottom. So let's go ahead and delete it and paste it right here. And anytime somebody sees this on their feed, they, they will click here, learn, learn more. This is the call to action. And then it'll take them to this page, right? Because this is the link. It'll take them to this page and hopefully they'll go ahead and follow you. Or if they're browsing through Instagram stories or say learn more, they swipe up and it takes them to your profile. Now, that's all you really need to do. Keep in mind that try not to be too spammy. Um, if, if it's very spammy or you, tr or you say Jordan that Facebook doesn't like, they won't approve your ad. And it could take, especially for new accounts, anywhere from 24 to 48 hours to get your account, to get your ad approved. So don't feel like, oh my God, it's been 12 hours, it's not approved. It takes a long time. Sometimes I'll create an ad and it's a it's a approved like within minutes, and then sometimes it'll be a day and a half, and it's still not approved. That's pretty normal. If there's something wrong with your ad, Facebook will reject the ad. You will get a notification, and it will tell you exactly what you need to fix. Now, if you get rejected because of whatever you put in it, make sure that you're very thorough with it. You click on the actual where it tells you to read more to learn more. Make sure you go through the through the um, verbatim and you make sure you follow Facebook rules um, and that you're writing it the way that they're explaining it to you. Um, but something like this should go through easily um, because there's nothing, it's not spammy to the, to the in a way that you're saying, you know, let me help you with your business and make a hundred thousand a year. Like if you do something like that, that's when it becomes a little spammy so, or it becomes spam. <laughs> so once you're happy here, everything looks good. You check your spelling. Trust me, I've had issues with that. <laughs> when you check your spelling, the link looks good. You go ahead and publish it and you are good to go. It's going to go ahead and it's going to say pending right here inside your account and you just give it the time for it to get approved. Now that you have created your Instagram ads, I'm glad that you stuck around because I'm going to be talking about with you guys two additional bonus tips. They're going to make a huge difference on how you get followers. Now, the first tip is that if you don't have any traction at the current moment, you need to be proactive by finding your ideal customers and liking their posts. Why? Because the ad that we just did will be shown to people who engage with your profile. But if you have to, if you have little to no engagement initially, It'll be harder to get followers. So use the search bar, find a hashtag that your ideal customer would use. Let's say that you sell wedding rings and go ahead and type hashtag bright to be and filter it by results and find accounts that you can engage with. Make sure to engage by leaving thoughtful comments and liking more than five of their photos. Now, the reason why you're liking so many photos in that feed is that normally people would like three pictures and call it a day. But you want to make sure that we're liking a lot of photos so you could stand out and they could be curious to go ahead and check out your feed. Now, when you like these people's photos, they'll come back, check out your profile, which qualifies as an engagement. And the ad will start, you know, or will begin to be served to them. This ad will be following them around. It will show up in their feed and it will show up in their Instagram story. And even if they didn't follow you the first time, you are essentially keeping them in your ecosystem, which is really important. The more they see your brand, the higher the likelihood of them becoming a potential follower and eventually converting into an actual customer. So that's tip number one. The second tip I have for you is really important that when you're posting and sharing content that you're using hashtags that are going to get you more reach and amplify your views. And a quick way to find hashtags or an uh, Instagram hack that I use is that I head over to the search bar, I search for the hashtag that describes what I'm about to share, and I use the same hashtags as, home, as someone who has ranked for them in the Explorer page a couple hours or days. Now, if the post is like an old post from like months ago or last year, I don't tend to use those hashtags. 
So I only use the hashtags that are fairly new within a day or so. Now, by providing valuable content, targeting your ideal customer, and using paid ads, you're gonna be able to amplify your reach a lot easier and grow your Instagram follower a lot faster. So if you enjoy this video or have any questions, please leave the comments below and thanks for watching.